Well, we've got an update on Voyager Digital, and it's not really great news, unfortunately. So what exactly happened? I'm going to get into that in just a moment. But before I do, I just want to let you know, as usual, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This coming from Cointelegraph. And I'm going to include a link to this article in the description. It says Voyager Digital files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, proposes recovery plan. Voyager Digital has joined the growing list of CFI firms hurting as a result of exposure to Three Arrows Capital and declining crypto asset prices. Days after pausing trading, withdrawals, and deposits, crypto exchange Voyager Digital is filing for bankruptcy under Chapter 11 in the Southern District Court of New York. Voyager's Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing indicated that it is on the hook for anywhere from $1 billion to $10 billion in assets to more than 100,000 creditors. The troubled crypto exchange wasted no time after the United States holiday to file for bankruptcy on Tuesday. In a Wednesday statement, Voyager explained that the move is part of a, quote, plan of reorganization. When implemented, the plan would enable clients to reaccess their accounts again, and Voyager would, quote, return value to customers. Voyager CEO explained its proposed plan, which involves customers with crypto in their account receiving a combination of crypto proceeds from the Three Arrows Capital 3AC recovery, common shares in the newly reorganized company, and Voyager tokens. Stephen here says over on Twitter, as part of this process, the proposed plan of reorganization would resume account access and return value to customers under this plan, which is subject to change given ongoing discussions with other parties and requires court approval. Customers with crypto in their accounts will receive in exchange a combination of the crypto in their accounts, proceeds from the Three Arrow Capital Recovery, common shares in the newly reorganized company, and Voyager tokens. He also added confirmation that customers with U.S. dollars in their accounts will be able to access those funds after a, quote, reconciliation and fraud prevention process is completed with Metropolitan Commercial Bank. In the same Twitter thread, Ehrlich said he felt Chapter 11 was the best route for his clients considering all factors and assured that the move would protect assets on the platform and the Voyager will continue operating. Voyager said that part of the reorganization process will see the company filing, quote, first day motions that will allow it to maintain operations. Voyager said it intends to pay its employees in the usual manner and continue their primary benefits and certain customer programs without disruption. However, trading, deposits, withdrawals, and loyalty rewards will remain suspended. Signs that Voyager and its clients were experiencing headwinds came after the lending platform entered into a $500 million loan agreement with trading firm Alameda Research to cover losses from its exposure to crypto venture capital firm 3 Arrow Capital. A day later, the platform lowered its daily withdrawal limit to $10,000 and then on July 1st announced that it would be suspending trading, deposits, withdrawals, and loyalty rewards distributions. The company's subsidiary, Voyager Digital LLC, also previously issued a notice of default to Three Arrow Capital for failure to make the required payments for its loan of 15,250 Bitcoin and $350 million, or this is the USD coin, USDC. However, Three Arrow Capital is going through Chapter 15 bankruptcy proceedings and has reportedly been forced to be liquidated by the British Virgin Islands, suggesting that it could be difficult for Voyager to recover the funds it lent out. And that's all we got for you in this video, so be sure to tell us what you think about that in the comments down below. The last thing I want to talk about is an NFT project. This is called Eco Warriors. This is a partnership I've been working on with several different crypto partners. This provides the NFT holder with passive income rewards. We have additional giveaways, lots of utilities that we're looking to get built out, as well as gaming. So if you guys want to check that out, find out more information, you can find a link to the Twitter account in the description, as well as to the website and the Discord group. You're more than welcome to come and ask questions. I've done some AMAs with some other influencers. You can go and learn a lot more from there as well. And uh, also, thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out, thank you to Velimir Brockovich, We Love SafeMoon.com, Marat Shaker, Victor Vegas, and SafeMoon Odds for being higher level patrons. And thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. 
You guys are awesome. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please go do your own research. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.